Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message. Tis your sexy astrologer, the peace dealer. Only fans coming soon. Strip tarot coming soon. All right. Softcore astrology porn coming soon. I don't think y'all ready, but don't worry about it. Uh, other than that, other than that, moon in Sagittarius, sun in Aries, 29 degrees. You are coming into the final realization of the power of your identity. But with the moon in Sagittarius, that is ascending this perception to the next level. Every moon in Sagittarius is an ascension chapter. If you think of the peeling layers of an onion, that brings us to a higher and higher perspective of the meaning of life. But in this sense, when Aries season, the meaning of you, the meaning of who you are, and relative to the truth of who you are that we unlocked two weeks ago, and the mastery of integrating that with the moon in Virgo, you are now taking that analytical understanding to the next motherfucking level, peering into the supernatural nature of how metaphysical understandings of the aspects of yourself that you don't see still make up the part of who you are. If you think that everything that constitutes how you see yourself is mainly based off of visual indicators that you can see, a lot of you think that you're who you are because of the success you've manifested and what you see yourself as. But you're starting to understand that the essence of you is a lot more unseen. There's more of your vibration that exemplifies you than just this avatar that's just one piece of who you are. There's rooms you're not physically in where your presence is felt. There are people whose minds you live in every day rent free. You still exist there, even though it's not your physical self. And so there is a greater understanding of yourself that with this ascension, with the moon in Sag, the understanding moon of the higher meaning Sagittarius of who you are, Sun and Aries, is getting ready to show you how to take greater action into manifesting this mooning cap, Sun and Taurus, because the sun is going to shift zero degrees into Taurus and it's all going down. We are in the apocalypse and you may have given in to distractions meant to take your focus away from the finesse that's happening globally, but things are going to get so hyper real. You're going to have to uncomfortably be in denial if you want to basically ignore all of this. And I like to use myself as an example. I'm a very controversial figure already, given that I pioneer a field that's not acknowledged by postmodern scientists who lie to you with materialist reductionist bullshit philosophies. Namely that you don't have a spirit and a soul, which is a war crime against humanity, that children aren't being taught basic astrology because they've literal bullshit, but they're being taught gender reassignment and a Satanist Luciferian doctrine. But my opinions aside from that, what's very, very key here is in route for Pluto getting ready to go into Aquarius. Many of you are more aware than ever that everything that has to do with everything the past two years has been a total lie. And so there's no more room for speculation. Uranus is hyper manifesting evidence and proof of this faster than forces can be consensual. And given this revolution of the individual, it's up to you to decide how you're going to now that you've manifested this total realization of character. Now that you've activated who you are, what are you going to do with that? What are you going to manifest? What are you going to ground? I'm using myself as a controversial figure because given my pioneering of this field, I noticed a very fascinating thing that I'm sure you go through too. People love me when I tell them what they want to hear. Oh, you're so accurate, peace dealer. Oh my God, you're so on point. And like people will sing my praises for years, but God forbid I say one thing against their beliefs. Oh my gosh, you were never real in the first place. You were always a fake astrologer. 
And that's just how fickle people are. Please understand that Jesus Christ had multitudes of people worshiping him. And as he kept it real, less and less people followed him because most people are fickle. Many people will never stay with you on your journey. And that's not why you walk that journey. Jesus told his disciples, look, niggas, if you don't even hate your parents, if you don't even hate your life, stay the fuck from around me. Why are you going to bury your, your dad? You want to tell your parents goodbye. Bye, bitch. You are not gang. OK, and a lot of people want to be spiritual. A lot of people want to be of the light. A lot of people want to live right. Y'all not built like that, though. A lot of you don't have what it takes because many are called and few are chosen. And when I say that, I mean in the examining of what's trended spiritually versus what's practically applied. So many people want to live a high vibrational life until it's time to live a high vibrational life. And now you're not popular because you're spreading opinions that aren't mainstream. And you had a lot of people who made that decision. Do you really want to be spiritual or do you want to be known as someone spiritual? Do you want to be successful or do you want to look successful? Do you want to really walk this path or is it trendy to walk this path? So you're going to do as much as you can to fit in, but not really, really live it like that. We, we, we see you bitches. Like you're exposing yourself. Like it's embarrassing. It's hilarious. Okay. Like you can't fool spirit. You can't fool spirit. Okay. So like, keep that in mind. The multitudes that followed Jesus Christ, this dude multiplied fish and bread, y'all, healed the sick, okay? Every single one of his disciples denied him. Hey, you know that nigga Jesus? We saw you walking with that nigga. I don't know that nigga. I don't, Peter denied him three times. Peter told Jesus, my nigga, I would never ever do you like that. I do not know this nigga. I don't know this nigga, Jesus. What are you talking about? Yes, cause it's that real. Okay, and did Jesus get bitter? No, he knows, oh ye of little faith. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. This is the energy being confronted to you. Regardless of who switches up or not, what is the firm foundation of your values that have you move forward whether people switch up or not? <laughs> Could you imagine if Jesus switched up because everyone switched up on him? Will we really even be here right now? So keep this in mind, okay? And I know that was a weird question to ask, and you don't have to take that literally and answer that literally, I mean it figuratively, but really, really, really keep this in mind because when it comes to your identity, I hope everything you see about yourself isn't based on what other people think, is not based on the flattery people give you when you're up and then the negativity people give you when you say stuff they don't like, okay? You have to, of course, have this stand on you and what you know yourself and what you've done uh, to kind of establish because let me tell you ladies and gentlemen you've worked so hard that now moving forward now that we're in a promised land there's no more playing around there's no more fucking around there's no more bullshit it's it's kill or be killed okay you've you you have definitively aligned the nature of your character to what the universe is going to respond as you're moving forward now manifesting tangibly your abilities as we step through this eclipse portal over the next week and a half and this is going to demand a higher version of yourself whether you're ready for it or not this is going to manifest people who relate to that higher version of yourself you're seeing people who see you as you truly are and it makes some of you uncomfortable because you've never seen yourself as that powerful but other people see that power within you you have to stand up and own that and claim that okay as the moon is going to square Neptune, it's going to show you Sagittarius metaphysical understanding, Neptune, fourth house to the moon of unseen phenomena that makes higher sense of the meaning of everything you're doing. In a nutshell, you're going to actually understand what paranormal experiences that have eluded you for more than half of your whole life actually mean. You're going to see 
what those experiences mean in relation to who you are and how your very presence induces said causality. A whole bunch of stuff you thought was a coincidence you'll start to see never was. And this is going to show you into the causality in people's behavior. People who front and act a certain way but mean another. You're going to see through that. You're going to see how a lot of people's actions are actually influenced by what you do. But because they put on masks and try and act the opposite, you may not have noticed until now. Okay? So just keep that in mind because this is all segueing into the next stage of your development as we're walking through the eclipse period in the promised land. 29 degrees Aries is bringing to a fullness the final completion and puzzle piece of the effective empowerment of your identity where people can say all sorts of things that they want to about you, but they will never do anything to back that up. And should they do so, good luck to them because they have no idea how much you've leveled up and they're only engaging with an idea of you that they preach to acquire to push not who you really are and so they can have the theatrics but because they're not basing off of who you really are they're setting themselves up for failure as you respond to them as you really are and they don't know how to deal with you because they've been attaching to an illusion Okay, knowing this, you won't give your power away when people try and bait you and treat you according to who you're not. Once you stand firm in who you are, you'll know what reactions are yours. Does that make sense? This is going to give you such high vision of who you are. You'll see yourself as you are and you will act as you are. So you won't act out of character when people try and tempt you to act in ways that aren't you. Does that make sense? When someone tries your patience, you know who you are. You're not going to try and prove yourself to that person because you've already manifested more than enough synchronicities with yourself and other people to affirm that whatever they're saying isn't true. In the case that criticisms against your character are true, have the integrity to hold yourself accountable to that and change that. But we're not talking about that. This is you past the boundary drawings of that eighth house moon in Scorpio ascending now that you've drawn those boundaries and pat yourself on the back because you're leveling up like never before, literally stepping into zero degrees towards 30 degrees Aries and everything that you've activated will be real. Okay. We're stepping into the next stage of supernatural development. We're done with activating superpowers. Now it's time to apply them. And this is going to manifest values in your self-esteem that through this foundation of confidence allows you to develop supernatural abilities that will change your life and the lives of others. Brace for impact and breakthrough, okay? You ain't never seen nothing like what you're about to see. Ignore the bullshit. The billion trillion dollar industries meant to entrain and trap your mind so that you can talk in circles with people gossiping about what people who aren't that important but set themselves off to be more famous than you distract you with. They get a paycheck to do this. It's all content creation. It's all a part of a greater system to distract you from the inner work you're supposed to do. Yeah, you can balance and do both, but just make sure you recognize it as a distraction and nothing that's so substantial you're actually taking serious outside of the joke that all this is because some people take it so serious now they live in fear believing lies being broadcasted to them and this is a revolution this is a revolution everything was literally preparation for the revolution 2020 2021 2022 that phase is over 2023 2024 2025 is the post-apocalyptic beginning of the end 2020 to 2022 was everyone picking their sides. 2023, 2025, motherfucking guild wars. So once we step into Taurus season, you're going to really see what it means to be a part of this revolution. You're going to really see who you're connected with, what you're meant to do. Make it count, ladies and gentlemen. There's so much fake shit and delusion out here. Men can beat up women and, and get rewarded for living a whole lie. That's just not cute. 
on top of knocking up women in prison, I'm not making this about one theme. It applies everywhere where you have a fake president who as a criminal is doing everything he can to do his job and destroy this country. He's not even wrong for doing that. It's his job. It's his karma. But other than that, his vice president is the devil. Peep her chart, Lucifer on her moon, and follow that woman because she's about to take over and, uh, you know, do what she got to do. Remember who you are. Activate it. Manifest it. Godspeed.